Okay, around this one. Come, come, come. It's the inside out one. Relax your arm. Very good. Go, go, go. Okay, and in. Okay, another one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and around you, around you. Swing. Okay, guys, I want you to understand that all these drills, except the 50 ball drill, you choose a number, you look at your player's level of fitness, his, uh, his level, his abilities, and then you choose a number. For him, this one is going to be eight balls. And again, you always do three rounds. That's the magic number. It's the best way to do the drill, rest, do the drill, rest, do three rounds, and then you take a longer break. Okay, so now the next one is racket head speed drill. We've got eight balls here, and he's going to do dry volleys. Okay, so I want my players to do to have better racket head speed. I always do dry volleys. Luki explains to us why dry volley works for that. You have to be quick over the ball. Um, you have to make sure you get to the ball. Yes. Enough time. Yeah. Um, what would happen if you swing through the ball slowly? It's going to go straight up or into the net. Yeah, exactly. So if you swing fast enough, you have more control on the ball. Spot nice. on. That, that's what Luki is saying. So with the dry volley, when there's no bounce, the ball's coming out of the air, you have no choice but to swing fast through the ball to get it in with enough spin and power. Okay, so watch his racket head speed. No bounce, it's four hands all over the court. He has to swing fast through this ball. Four hands only, go. Yes, swing. Okay, around this one. Come, come, come. It's the inside out one, relax your arm. Very good, go, go, go. Okay, and in. Okay, another one, yes, 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 yes. Okay, and around you, around you, swing. Okay, I'm happy. So, then we take a 10 second breather, and then we go again. I want you to recognize as well, you play around with this drill. If you're the player or you're the coach, ask your coach to play around with it. You guys noticed that I was doing all over the court. Because he's a high level player, I also started moving back, which means he was doing shorter ones as well, okay? If, 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 the, if you're just starting out, you could basically, well, let me actually show you. If you're just starting out, the best thing you can do is for a player that's intermediate or uh, a beginner player will really struggle with this, so I would say intermediate, then you just do from here. Not too much movement. This way he can just focus on his racket head speed because he's getting the same, oh, bless you. I'm sure he's gonna edit that, it's up to him. So you can just stay here, swing the racket fast. Yes. So now he can just focus on you can just focus on the one thing, which was racket head speed, because it's slightly easier. But because Luke is better, we were moving it around a little bit. That's the racket head speed drill for you.